the opening of the door was marked by protests organised by organisations campaigning on housing and homelessness and by over-the-top policing of these protests. Steel fences and dozens of garda were used to hem a crowd that was probably never larger than 120 people into the end of Moldworth Street, presumably lest any TD have to interact with them as they sought to flee the door. The Irish Housing Network had earlier organised a homeless-led march from the GPO to the door via the boardwalk. About 50 homeless people, including families, took part in the march, which peacefully passed up Kildare Street and around Merrion Row to the back of the door. It was shortly after this march passed that the Garda shoved people gathering for another housing protest off Kildare Street and closed the gates on the steel fence they had erected. OG reported scuffles had taken place. As can be seen from our video, this was in fact a large number of Garda attacking a small group of people in order to close a gate in the steel fence. A number of people then spoke at the door, see the other videos posted to Solidarity Times, as dozens of Garda watched over us from over the fence. Ahead of the protest, the Irish Housing Network had said, The government hopes to brush this housing and homeless crisis onto the carpet. We won't let them. We now have 1,185 children homeless while homes lie vacant. Rents are on the rise while wages are only dropping. Eviction on the rise with nowhere for families to go. This is far past the point of crisis. In advance of the protest on Solidarity Times, we had written, You must ask yourself, why is the government allowing this to go on? Isn't the government meant to represent the interests of the people? The truth is the government doesn't represent anyone. The state and the government are the tools of the ruling elite to implement the criminal elite's neoliberal policies and as tools to keep the people weak and passive.